Mutai has been released on bail by the Kiambu Law Courts. Now, this is after the court declined plea by the prosecution to continue detaining the suspect. Edwin John Kora with more. According to the ruling by Senior Magistrate Marisa Opondo, the suspect has been acquitted on a 500,000 bond or a surety of a similar amount or a cash bill of 300,000. The respondents, pending the conclusion of the investigations, may be released on a bond of 500,000 with one surety of similar amount or a cash bill of 300,000 and in addition, he should execute a personal recognizance of 500,000. Langard has been further ordered to present himself to the investigating officers after every two days so as to assist them complete their investigations. Uh, any event, the case will be mentioned in court in the event the investigating officer has concluded his investigations and requires the accused to take plea. And for that purpose, the investigating officer should notify the accused person to present himself in court for plea. There's a right of appeal 14 days from today. The senior magistrate has said that the prosecution did not give the court enough reasons to control detaining the suspect. I am grounded on the fact that no compelling reasons have been given to warrant the respondent to be detained or denied bond pending the conclusion of investigations. In granting of bail bond, I have considered the nature of the intended charge the respondent may face, including the possibility of the respondent being a flight risk, among others. Consequently, this court finds merit, finds no merit in the present application by the prosecution, and I proceed to dismiss the same. The defense team has welcomed the court's ruling, saying that the case does not hold water since no Kenyan has reported being scammed by the suspect. And we welcome the decision. The decision and our ruling has nourished and flourished our jurisprudence. The ruling has been delivered and they said that ruling has enhanced the rule of law. Uh, it is a win for the law and the constitution because Clearly, there are no reasons to continue the detention of our client. And um, we just want to emphasize that going forward, the jurisprudence of this uh, country has been built. The suspect is alleged to have scammed numerous people, including a member of parliament, more than 900,000. He is expected to be arraigned in court on the 19th of January. Edin John Mokora, Lookup TV.